But first, Daniel, you, you find have? elephants at a safari, right? Yes. Yeah, well, speaking of that, many would love to go on a real safari, but that's not possible for everyone. At the end of the month, you can go on one in downtown Indianapolis. And joining me live this morning to explain more, Katie Gibson. She's the Indiana Landmarks Heritage Experiences Manager. Katie, good morning to you. First, tell us more about Indiana Landmarks and the work they do. Good morning. Yes, um, so I work for Indiana Landmarks and we are a historic preservation nonprofit. So really that means we focus on saving historic landmarks all around Indiana that Hoosiers love. Okay. But we also make an impact by giving unique heritage tours like this one. That's fantastic. What do you get to see on the tour and how long is it? Yeah, so it is a 45 minute journey experience and well, some of the animals that you get to see along the way include horses, panthers, bears. My favorite is the frog, and there's lots of others as well. Um, and then we have engaging, interactive, and playful activities along the way. And we start in University Park. We end there, too. And we will also have activities after the tours that are optional, they're meant to spark creativity and joy and help you remember what you learned on the tour. And, you know, for folks who are not familiar with the state or even what's here in Marion County, there are a lot of landmarks to talk about and see. Yes. So the animals are actually a great way to uh, introduce people to the city and the history behind some of the landmarks. What's so really on the tour, we are working with our guests to uncover the history and the symbolism behind the animals. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. What's the goal behind this tour? So our goal behind it is really to get uh, people out after the pandemic. It's been uh, a hard time. So just have them do something that brings them joy and also get them to look up, down, all around and look for uh, details and have a curiosity about Indianapolis's history. And for people who want to sign up and participate, again, how long is it? How can they get tickets? Yeah, so it is 45 minutes and then you have the optional activities at the end. And something I forgot to mention too is that we have partnered with the Indiana War Memorials to bring, bring this tour and they will be having an activity after the tour as well for people to um, do. You can purchase tickets through our website at indianalandmarks.org. Ticket prices are $5 per person. If you're an Indiana Landmarks member, it's $3 per person, and kids five and under are free. All right, Katie Gibson joining us with the Indiana Landmarks Heritage Experience Tour. Thank you so much for your time.